Erosion of coastlines in St. John and surrounding areas is unfortunately a familiar problem to many residents. From the squeezing of Sand Cove Road on the west side, to the degrading backyards of redhead homeowners on the eastern shores of the city, the effects of coastal erosion are seen almost everywhere, along with the failed solutions that desperate landowners have attempted. So how does the process of coastal erosion even happen, and what can we do to slow or even stop it? Well, coastal erosion is a process that occurs naturally, but it is predicted to get worse as sea levels rise due to human-induced climate change. There are several strategies we recommend, such as protecting your home while maintaining the coastline by using hard or soft infrastructure, like seawalls or living shoreline. Although it may result in a loss of land, Accommodation through flood proofing or adjusting infrastructure is also an option. If all else fails, retreating may be a last resort for eroding infrastructure, and relocating may be the best available option. To many St. John homeowners, the fear of losing their land, and in many cases their home, is a very real and terrifying possibility. For redhead resident Gary Prosser, the current rate of erosion along with the rising sea levels has him in fear of the worst. I've lived in Redhead for over 40 years and I've had no personal loss or concern because of erosion, but it is happening. It's happening here and you can see it. This road that comes in off of Anthony's Cove Road went right across the beach. That used to be a road, and as you can see, Mother Nature has taken over, and there's no road there anymore. And it's the poor buyers that are buying property that it's unknown to them, the extremes, and they're the ones that are in trouble. Over the past several months, we have been conducting shoreline assessments as part of our Living Coastal project. The purpose behind this work is to assess the problem of coastal erosion through observing selected sites that have the least coastal stability. The results from this project can act as a baseline for future monitoring and recommend actions for adaptation. If you have any questions about our project or about coastal erosion in St. John, feel free to reach out to us through our various social medias or visit our website at www.acapsj.org for more info.